join the song, lift your voice as heaven and earth give
Jesus, the Son of God. Lord over all, He is good and His mercy endures. Sing, call on the name. the Son of God, Lord over 
we just thank you for your love that endures through all things. We thank you that we can never be separated from your love, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for giving up your life you know, that we can live, that we can come into the family of God to be called his sons. Yeah, Lord, we just lift up your name. You are good. You are good. And we place all our trust, all our faith, all our hope in you. In all things, God. Yeah, we just thank you. We just ask, Holy Spirit, that you would just fill this place tonight. As we just come with a heart of thanksgiving and praise. Thank you. Well, we are going to be interceding for the nation of Australia tonight. And we're going to begin uh, by interceding uh, through the word in Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 to 14. And as we intercede through the word, through singing. Um, yeah, I'd ask you just to really draw on your history with God, your relationship with God, you know, your story, your testimony. Because, you know, I guarantee that someone in Australia, you know, is going through something similar or the same thing that you are. And your prayers are powerful. You can minister to not just a nation, but a specific person in Australia through your prayers tonight. So I invite you to open your Bibles to Colossians chapter 1, and we'll be reading from verse 9 to 14. So Colossians chapter 1, verse 9. And so, from the day we heard, we have not ceased to pray for you asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of His will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding. Lord, we intercede for the church in Australia tonight. We lift up our brothers and sisters to you, asking them to fill, asking you to fill them with the knowledge of your will. Holy Spirit, we ask you to come and bring a fresh outpouring in Australia. Release your wisdom and understanding into the Australian church so that they can discern the will of God. Lord, we ask you to fill your church. Release true wisdom and understanding of your ways.
chapter 1 verse 10 so as to walk in a manner worthy of the Lord fully pleasing to him bearing fruit in every good work and increasing in the knowledge of God in a time of growing opposition to the Word of God in Australia we declare that Lord you are restoring and renewing your church to walk in your ways and to be a light in the darkness, to represent your will in Australia. May your church discern your will and understand your heart, Lord, so that they can come against the attacks of the enemy and also bear fruit for the kingdom. Let your church arise, O Lord. Let it stand tall and walk the narrow path of righteousness and integrity in a way that is worthy of you, God, and that is pleasing to you, God. Oh, you have called us to live a life
Church arrives. To this play you spend To this play you spend May your church rise up. May your church rise up. To this play you spend To this play you spend May your church rise up. May your church. Worthy Lord. To this play your splendor of God. To this play your splendor of God. May your church rise up. May your church rise up. Rise up, church. Oh,
Lord, we just ask for you just to fill your church with the knowledge of your will, with wisdom and understanding. Lord, we just pray that your, your church will just seek out your wisdom, God. So precious, God. Even if it looks foolish in the eyes of the world, it says that your gospel looks foolish in the eyes of the wise. Lord, we just pray that your church would walk in all integrity and righteousness, God. Just to be your light, to represent your heart, your kingdom in Australia, God. We lift them up, Lord, and may we never cease to pray for them, God. Lord, raise up a spirit of intercession in your church around the whole world. Yeah, we just thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for your wisdom, O oh Lord.
Continue singing intercession through the Word of God uh, for the church in Australia. Uh, so please continue just to join and engage in prayer and song. We'll continue reading from Colossians chapter 1, verses 9 to 14. And we'll read now verses 11 and 12. So Colossians chapter 1, verses 11 and 12. May you be strengthened with all power according to his glorious might for all endurance and patience with joy, giving thanks to the Father who has qualified you to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. We lift up the Australian church to you, Lord. We ask that you would strengthen them with the power of the Holy Spirit. Strengthen their love for you, God. Strengthen their trust in the Word. And strengthen their intimacy with your Son, Jesus Christ. As your church faces the challenge of existing in a secular, 
non-Christian, multi-religious, multicultural society, God, we ask that you would empower them so that they would endure and be faithful to the gospel of Jesus Christ. We also declare that they will do so with joy. You know, that your church will be marked by joy. It will be set apart and distinguished, distinguished from the West, rest of society by the supernatural joy that they carry, God. Oh, let your church be different, so different from the rest of the world. Let your church be marked by the presence of the Lord. Oh, let your church be marked with the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord that gives freedom, that gives strength to those who are in need. To the weak and broken, you will give joy.
13 to 14. He has delivered us from the domain of darkness and transferred us to the kingdom of his beloved Son, in whom we have redemption, the forgiveness of sins. There is a generation of people in the darkness waiting to encounter the light, Jesus Christ, the living God. And we declare tonight that the Australian church has been chosen and called to welcome them into the kingdom of heaven, into the family of God the Father. We declare that just as we, the church, received our redemption and forgiveness of sins through Christ, that there will be an outpouring of confession and repentance in Australia as those people, they receive that revelation of God's grace and love in their own lives. Lord, we ask that you would release your spirit in even greater measures in Australia to bring redemption through Jesus to the Australian people. Oh God, let your spirit come and touch every heart for hearts to be changed all chains are being broken up being broken Freedom. 
people 
back to you, God. Let your people come. Let your people come back. Let your people come. Oh, let your people come. Let your people come. Let your people come back. Let your people come. Let your people come. Let your people come. Let your people come back. Let your people come. Let your people come. Let your people come. Let your people come back. Yes, Lord. Let your people in Australia turn back to you, God. Let them come back before you, God. To return to their first love. To return to their commitment to you, God. To return to their calling, their mission. Just to share your love to the Australian people, God. Lord, we just pray that you would strengthen your church that they may endure all the trials, all the persecution that they receive in Australia, Lord. That they may stay strong and be filled with joy. And most importantly, God, that they may be able to reach out to the lost, to those who are in need of redemption, to those who are seeking for your grace, for your love and your mercy, God. Lord, strengthen your church. Thank you. We thank you, Jesus.
confess to the Lord how much you love his presence. Uh, just take time to, you can sing a new song to him, or you can pray, or you can just be still in his presence. But I want uh, all of us to just have the heart posture of just lifting up love, love for his presence here in this place. power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, break every chain, to break every chain. There is power there is power in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain. To break every chain, to break every chain, to break every chain.
take a minute just to share about uh, the state of the church in Australia. Um, the church in Australia, it's, uh, it's either been marginalized, so the conservative churches, the ones that hold to the world, to the word of God, have been marginalized to the side of society, or the church has been forced to conform. Uh, have become very liberal, focused mainly on social justice. Uh, you know, with things like same-sex marriage, abortion, these type of issues. Uh, I feel like the mainstream church, there is a lot of compromise in what it holds to. And Australia as a whole, it's actually a secular country. Unlike America, there is no real space for religious debate in the public sphere. It's a, it's a country where you mind your own business. Uh, this, is the, this is the nation, this is the culture that you know, our Sydney church plant for New Philadelphia Church is going into. Um, but even our church plant is part of a, a wider move of God because we know that God is moving. He's moving amongst, you know, especially the migrant communities. God is bringing in foreigners into Australia just to bring a fresh, a fresh fire, a fresh passion for God, a fresh zeal for the Lord. So as we pray tonight, we'll be beginning with lifting up our Sydney church plant, moving on to the Australian church as a whole, uh, just to really pray for the Australian church to return, just to a Christ-centered, a word-based belief. And we're going to pray for the nation. We're going to pray for, for revival for the nation. So please engage, join me in prayer, pray against the spiritual strongholds over the nation, even over the church that bind the church. Let's pray for the Sydney church plant. Father God, we just thank you for just an amazing opening service. We know that you have been building this church plant for the last two years, God. And we thank you, God, for the support that is being shown by the wider community in Sydney, Lord. And right now, we lift up the team members to you in particular, God. We pray that you would uh, strengthen them in their mission, in their purpose for being there, God. And even though they may feel homesick, even though there are difficulties, God, in settling in, Lord, that they would always hold, be steadfast in their identity and purpose, their mission to raise up an army of mighty warriors in Sydney, God, who will go out in the anointing of the Holy Spirit to bind up the brokenhearted and proclaim freedom for the captives, God. Lord, Father, we pray that more than just uh, church transfer, God, you would use this team to really reach out to the lost, to those who have never even been to church before, God, that they may discover God in this place, God. Let's pray. Let's pray for the Sydney church plan right now.
just lift up the church in Australia to you right now, God. Father God, we repent on behalf of the church, God, where it has abandoned your word, God, where it has compromised on your word, Lord. And we just pray, God, that you would just turn it back to you, God, to return to a focus on the cross, on Jesus, on what he did for us, Lord, to know that truth, that revelation comes in the Bible, God, and from nowhere else. Lord, fill your church. Fill your church with your Holy Spirit. Fill it with your wisdom. Fill it with a fear of you, God, to return to a fear of you and not of man, Lord. And we just pray that the, the church will just rise up just to claim its inheritance, God. To claim its inheritance, God, as saints in light. Let's pray on behalf of the Australian church for it to come back to God, to a God, a Christ-centered focus. Let's lift up the Australian church right now. of Australia right now. We pray for this nation that has turned away from you, God, that is caught up in its own pride, God, and arrogance, Lord. Lord, a nation that does not honor you or give thanks to you, God. Father God, we pray against God it's that spirit of liberalism, God, of, of the individual, Lord. Pride in our own understanding, our own wisdom, God, and turning away from the wisdom that comes from you, Lord. Lord, we just cast down, reject those notions of freedom, of equality, of justice that is not founded in you, God that is based on a lie. Lord, we declare that the only equality, the only justice, the only wisdom that can be found in this world is found in Jesus Christ alone. Yes. Father God, we just pray for it's the outpouring of revelation, the revelation of Jesus Christ in this nation, God. Yes, may you be lifted up. May you be lifted up, God, as the one true Lord of this world. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's repent. Let's pray on behalf of the nation of Australia for a renewal of the mind in Australia. Let's pray for Australia right now.
prophesy, God, that there will be revival, God, in this valley of dry bones, inside the church and without, God. Lord, we prophesy that we will see an outbreak of confession, of repentance before you, God, before the sight of the Almighty God, the Creator of the heavens and the earth, Lord. And we declare, God, that within your church, a mighty army is being raised up in Australia to go out in the spirit of Isaiah 61, God, to bring freedom, freedom, God, to bring true freedom, true freedom, God, from all captivity, all bondage, God. Lord, let, let's prophesy that over Australia right now. Let's prophesy Ezekiel 37 over Australia right now, that a mighty army is being raised up from a valley of dry bones. Let's pray.
Australia tonight, Lord. And Lord, we just ask, God, that you would grow the love and the desire for your presence among the people in Australia, among your people, God. That they will learn to love you. They will learn to desire you more and more, Father. 
for you desire them. Father, we lift up tonight to you and we say, Jesus, you are the King, you are the Lord, you are glorious over Australia. You love your people. Pour out your love tonight, God. Pour out your love like never before, God. And we ask, God, that you um, awaken their hearts to the revelation of who you are, Jesus. We thank you and pray all these things in your name. Amen. Thank you for joining us tonight. Um, yeah, continue to lift up Australia um, as our team um, is after the official opening service they are going out to evangelize more into the streets of australia to the city uh, in sydney so continue to keep them in prayer and um yeah we'll see you next time good night